Hello, this is Charlie from HotTipCentral.com, and guess what? The jailbreak for iOS 4.3 is live. Now, of course, this also applies to iOS 4.3.1. Uh, there are a couple things you're going to need to know about this. The first, and I can't stress this enough, please, please do not make this mistake. If you need an unlock in any way, shape, or form, if you need to unlock your phone, please do not use the Red Snow tool that I'm displaying to you in the video. Ultra Snow is broken with this. You will not be able to unlock anyway. Don't even try it. If you're unlocked right now and you depend on it, stay where you are. Don't even don't even worry about it. And that really should apply with anybody who's happy with the way their device is. You do not need the, the latest firmware every single time, guys. If you're happy with the way your device works and things are going your way, just stay where you are. It solves so many problems. Um, the second thing is if you were using iPad 2, this release of Red Snow does not work with iPad 2. Um, it's It works for, the, for a variety of devices. Um, pretty much everything that most people have today, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, the GSM model only, not the Verizon model, or not the uh, Verizon model, uh, because there is no 4.3.1 for Verizon. Also, it works for iPod Touch 3G and iPod Touch 4G, as well as the iPad 1 and Apple TV 2G is for Ponage Tool only. So if, if you want to jailbreak your Apple TV 2, uh, please use Ponage Tool and not this uh, tool. And Ponage Tool is Mac only, but we're not going to get into that. This is just strictly for Red Snow, uh, which is both universal uh, Mac and Windows. No Linux yet, I don't believe. I don't even know if there will be one, but for Mac and Windows. And you can get those download links here at hottipcentral.com, or you can visit the Dev Team blog. Uh, they've displayed all the same criteria that I just basically said to you, and they also have direct download links here. Uh, for it as well, as well as a Ponage Tool link if you really want to try that and you're on a Mac. Um, Red, Snow, Red Snow is by far the easier tool because it does not require you to uh, restore during the process to where Ponage Tool would. And you'll see what I mean when I get into this right now. So let me show you this today. For this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and jailbreak my iPhone 4. Uh, and for that, I've got my freshly restored uh, iPhone 4 right here. It's running iOS 4.3.1. And go ahead and show you some of the little tidbits here. It's uh, right here. I'm trying to block my information. Uh, you can see it kind of, I can get it to work. There you go. I have 4.3.1. And if I scroll down here to my modem firmware, just to show everyone that I've kind of done this as well, I've also been managed to preserve my baseband at 2.1. So that works too. Also, just as uh, extra proof that I'm on 4.3, uh, we also have location services in the f in the in the front there, which wasn't available in 4.2.1. And so, yeah, so there it is. So we're going to go ahead and jailbreak my iPhone 4 right now. Now, the easiest way to do this is with Red Snow, and that's what we're going to use today. And for that, we're just going to go ahead and open up the Red Snow tool, which is found uh, from the site. You download it from the dev team or from hottipcentral.com. And here you go. And so the first thing it's going to ask us to do is it's going to ask us to browse our computer for the firmware that we're currently on. Uh, keep in mind, you need to be currently on this firmware in order to use this. So we'll go ahead and pull that firmware up. This is my iPhone firmware. It's somewhere down here. I know it is because it's sitting right there on the desktop. I just need to find it. There it is. iPhone restore. Go ahead and do it. It'll go ahead and process everything. It'll say it's a successfully identified. Hit next. It'll do its little jailbreak thing. There it does. I'm going to go ahead and boot up iMovie again because I want to show you guys my phone as this does it. Um, because I think it's important to have the phone running side by side with everything. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn my camera back on. Hopefully. Maybe. If my computer is not slow. And so, yeah. So there's that. Here we go. Built in eyesight. And we're back. All right, cool. We're back. So we'll get that out of the way. We're looking at Red Snow, which is right here. And the, things you, the selection you want to make here is you would like to install Cydia, which is what I've got in front of me here. Uh, you don't need to install a custom bundle. You don't need to boot tethered because this is an untethered jailbreak. You do not need a computer to boot it up after this is done. And also, you don't need it to necessarily enter a Pwn DFU. So for this particular part, you're just going to say install Cydia. So go ahead and hit next. 
please make sure the device is off and plugged in. So here's what we're going to do. Go ahead and shut your device off. And in order to do this, you have to be plugged in first because the moment you plug in your phone, it's going to turn it back on. So with it, with it still plugged in, go ahead and swipe it at the top. This will shut the phone off. I really need to learn how to navigate with this camera. Uh, so there it is. It's off. Go ahead and hit next. Now it says hold on the power button for two... For, all right, without releasing the power button, hold on home. And again, I'm probably going to do this wrong one time just so I can show you what happens if you don't do it right. Keep holding the home button for a bunch of seconds. So I want you to hold it for a while. If I don't do it wrong, that's cool. But you can just kind of follow the steps that it makes. And once it's in DFU, like it is right now, it will just start doing its thing. And then it will reboot your phone. It'll upload the RAM disk. It's pretty simple stuff. It really doesn't take very much time to really do this. Uh, when you start seeing code all over your screen, then you know you did something right. And uh, when it's all said and done, you'll have a jailbroken iPhone running the latest firmware, untethered, ready to go for Cydia. Now, I can't guarantee that any of the packages that you are normally used to using are going to be compatible with the latest version. That's up to the developers. But the main, the main ones, you know, your big ones, My 3G, um, My Y 4.0, obviously Winterboard and the things that are developed by Suric and, and the you know people who are the regulars on the scene, those are probably going to be compatible because um, they're developed, ready to go. But your little mini tweaks and your themes that don't quite look right, that's what you're going to get for having the latest firmware. It happens. And so you can see it's uh, moving applications. Some people might cut the video uh, to speed it up, but the way I see it, you're probably doing this alongside with me. If you're not, well, you can. In that case, I will just be you'll just be following along right with me. So, plus you can see how the process works. You get to see that it works in real time, and that's cool. This process does take a little bit of time, so you'll just kind of have to be patient. There you go. So install the bundles for Cydia and your phone when it boots all, back, all the way back up, your phone will be pwned. Oh yeah, I love a pwned phone. Again, don't get discouraged if it takes a long time to boot up or anything like that. Oh, see, it just kicked in, so iMovie's being dumb. There you go. Okay. So there it is. Loading up. Carrier loading. There you go. Good to go. Awesome. Go ahead and slide her open. And there we go. And if we go ahead and slide it, there's your wonderful Cydia right there on the home screen. And we're running 4.3.1. And there you go. That's all it takes. Red Snow, the new version, just came out today. Download it. Install it on your phone. Tell us what you think. Visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hottip. And visit us online at hottipcentral.com. Thanks, guys. See you.